What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minute Masters here and today I'm going to show you how to add a cover lay to your dash and we're going to talk about it. So those of you who own OBS Fords know a common problem with these trucks is the sun has come in through the untinted glass in the front and it has cracked your dash. And so this is probably the most common area to have a crack because it's technically kind of a soft section. Um, but that's not the only place. Uh, you know, I have one right here. I've got one that was right here. I think that started not too long ago. You know, it, it's old, it's been through a lot, and it just starts getting kind of weird and nasty. And even the previous owner has left some marks in this that I can't clean or remove. So, hey, you know, the interior of the truck is looking pretty good. Don't mind, it needs a vacuum and we want the dash to look good. So one of the products they have is a cover lay. That's this, um, I guess a cover lay would just be just a nice fancy way for something that's gonna cover your dash. And they mold them to fit the dashes perfectly. Now I decided, hey, you know, I kind of doing this like black interior thing. I'm gonna try to put a black one on top and hopefully um, that helps a little bit with the transformation. So what do you get in the big box? You get directions, cover lay, and they actually give you uh, some RTV right here. And so as per the directions, which you can read when you finally order one of these, you're supposed to clean this thing with Windex, okay? Something with ammonia in it. Um, they say don't use acetones or other cleaners. Just stick with a window cleaner that has ammonia. And then you're supposed to cut all your sharp edges down and sand them, okay? And then apparently on the back side of this, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of scuff this up a little bit. And then you'll take your RTV and, um, actually, so before we get into the RTV thing, you'll test fit this. So you'll put it on to make sure it's all good because apparently, as they say in the statement, you know, dashes, they warp and flex and all kinds of stuff over time. There may be some minor changes. So, of course, they're kinda of covering their side. So you do your test fit, which we can do in a little bit. And then you're gonna add your RTV around each one of the holes. And then they say put a little bit around the entire edge. They said don't put anything in the middle or else it's gonna expand and contract weirdly. They just only want a little bit around the edges. So let's jump to actually installing and test fitting this thing. And we'll bring you back and you'll have a look at it. All right guys, well, I figured I could do this one handed so I'll bring you along for the install. So I've just taken, the cover lay and I've just plopped it right on here okay so you can see uh, it's already starting to look pretty good I know right so one thing you want to do ahead of time is you're gonna to want to pull your gauge cluster bezel back so that this can slip right behind it else you'll get hung up there the only other part that requires a little finessing is right here around the radio and so the easiest way I found to do that is kind of grab it like this push up bang, snaps right in. And then you just kind of work it all over, push your dash back, and just like that, you've transformed your dash. I mean, look at it, it does look sharp. Don't get me wrong, this is magnificent looking. However, now let's talk about this, okay? There's a few things um, I might have been overly optimistic about with switching from a gray to a black and then it has to do with the cut. So right here around the radio, as you can see, it doesn't quite go in. It would have been really nice if the plastic went farther back because I think number one, no matter what color, it would have been more complete. But at least with a black, I think that would have made a much more seamless transformation. The other thing is your vents on either side aren't louvered, they're just cut out, okay? And so that's a more obvious area that you can find, you can see it's just a cover lay. And then of course, the most obvious is this cutoff line that's on either side here, okay? Otherwise, it just looks excellent. One thing you'll notice is the texturing is a little bit different than the rest. So we have a nice kind of smooth, um, like indented texturing and here, we have a more raised, uh, rough texturing. And now who knows, maybe 20 years ago, this had a, the texturing was more aggressive, maybe all the wear has kind of slowly worn it down. Who knows, the texturing is a little different. That may stand out to you, and you may not like that. But otherwise, 
I think it looks excellent. Now at this point, we've kind of like put it in here. I think the fit is like really good. There's only a few areas I've maybe thought like right here, it doesn't quite go down. And then I've also noticed there's a slight kind of gap here. Otherwise, I think the fit is like really, really nice. The only other downside with a cover lay is it covers over the, I think it's like four screws that are hold your dash to the firewall there. You won't be able to access those once this thing is fully glued down. And so that's not to say you can't just clip this thing on here and go. Matter of fact, my brother has an 1981 F100 with a cover lay and he just has it clipped on there and he takes it off whenever he needs to because if you know that um, year of F100 and F150, there's a speaker right here in the center. And if you put a cover light down, you'll probably never access it again, especially when you have to remove the top part of the dash. So that's it, guys. Uh, just a simple video showing you uh, how to install this and what it looks like. Now, from here on out, if you are quite settled with this product, you can just take it right off. And as per the instructions and what I told you earlier about where to apply, your RTV, you just put your RTV on the back of this thing, clip it back down, and then of course they recommend you put some pressure on this either with some kind of weights or as they recommend a piece of cardboard or pieces of cardboard that is propped against the windshield to force it down. And then you wait eight hours and you'll have a dash that will never come off again and it will look fantastic. So anyway guys, that's all for me. I'm uh, trying to get things uh, back up and running here after everything that's going on. So please hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of my other videos because you don't want to miss a thing. I'm Stevie from the Minute Masters. Thanks for watching. But wait, there's more. So yes, I'm bringing you back here the next day because I've got something I want to share with you. So if you remember, I had a few concerns about the cover lay, at least as far as switching from one color to another, and that was the two vents on either side and around the radio. The black doesn't quite go far enough, so you see like the gray. Honestly, that was enough of a deal breaker for me. I was gonna send this back, but I had the Mrs. Minute come over. She looked at it and she was like, well, I still really like the cover light. It really spruces up the interior. So I was kinda like, hmm, I wonder if there's something I'm gonna do. So I got some black spray paint and I masked up those areas and I hit them with the black. And look at it, I think that has made a huge difference in how they look. And honestly, that's just enough for me to be actually 100% satisfied with this cover lay. I don't care about the cutoff uh, at the edges there because you know when your door's closed, you'll never see it. So when you're in the cab and you're driving around and you're enjoying your OBS experience, this is all you're gonna see. So anyway, I thought I would share that with you guys because you may have the same concerns and it may just be a deal breaker for you. I don't know if this is gonna be the same procedure with all the other colors because, you know, different colors, different shades, but hey, black spray paint is black spray paint. So that's all for me. See you guys.